typical fall that you might get on YouTube, but uh, it's lunchtime. So of course we got water because you got to stay hydrated and I never drink enough water when I'm traveling. Jean also got a vanilla maple, we're clearly close to Canada, uh, powerful yogurt protein drink made with Greek yogurt. So we're going to give that a try. I also got a Greek yogurt and chia little like yogurt pot, also high protein because we're just kind of getting snacky stuff. Um, strawberry flavored. Yum. We got two of these rotini sticks. We got a mozzarella and prosciutto, and mozzarella and salami. That'll be good. Really just bought this because I wanted some hummus. Um, it comes with pretzels, but we have pretzels that we brought. We do not need any more pretzels, but I wanted some hummus. Um, and pickle chips, because I don't know, that just sounded like a good side. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. So we're going to have some grub in the old uh, Sheets parking lot before we cross the border. Okay. We're not sure if we're in Canada yet or not. We're crossing a bridge. <laughs> we're pretty sure. We, we just paid. And we just uh, paid a toll. Oh, yeah. Exchange. Okay. No currency exchange. Don't we have to... I, I'm sure we have to show our passports, right? <laughs> Probably up here. We brought them, probably, yeah, probably. and we know we're not going to be able to film, so well, or I'm going to assume we're not going to try. So, um, this is what it looks like coming to Canada. Whoop, whoop. The, falls. the falls are like way over there. Right there. I can't see past you, but I'm going to go ahead and sign off what, now. Oh, so this is uh, the hotel room. We're about to go into it, and hopefully it'll be awesome. I think yes. it will be. Uh, the My keys are like stuck. Okay. Here we go. Pretty standard bedroom, actually, but if it'll focus, look at our view! Oh my gosh! Look at those little peons on the ground. That's amazing! So, that is the Canadian Falls. To our right, yeah. right here. And then the American Falls, I believe, are the ones to the left. Right there. And even though it looks like it's on the same sides, I don't understand that. Yeah, anymore. that's so crazy, though. It looks tiny from here, but I know it's enormous. Yeah, we're on the 21st floor, so. Yeah. What? Okay, going to enjoy this view. Right now we are walking to Niagara Falls. We walked about 20 minutes from our hotel. It took to actually walk down here. So you have to go like out of our hotel and way down to come all the way back around. Even though we're right across from it, there's no We could pay walkway. to take a trolley thing down the hill, but we chose not to. We chose to walk it. It is a lot wetter down at the water. It's just perpetually misty and yeah, wet. Yeah, probably really close. So that's so. our hotel up top, the Marriott. Yeah. And we are walking, and uh, let's go over to the thing right now. Yeah. So that's the falls. That's the Canadian side falls. It's like tons of water per second. Um, and like 170 feet, I think, from the top to bottom. 273. 273, I was way off there. I, I might be making that up. It's from water surface to water surface, and then it's whatever below the water surface. Morning. It is... 7.30. About 7.30. Um... It's gray and dreary. Yeah, so still a great view, but actually like raining. Oh, looks very nice on camera, but yeah, it's all just We woke up hoping rainy. at like 6.30 hoping to see the sun come up. Yeah, I mean I actually woke up naturally. It's not like I set an alarm. We had to have the windows open, so that helped. Yeah, we had the windows naturally. open last night. Um, hoping to see the sun, but... Which is, should be directly across from our view. Yeah, but uh, it's just rainy and gray and gross. So, now we're up. Trying to figure out what to do. For brekkie. Yeah, kind of hungry. Might just do Starbucks downstairs though. Later today, we're going to a winery. Uh, our friend Kathy lives near here and is a member, I think, of mm -hmm. this winery. And she's going to take us. So that should be fun. Be fun. Um, especially since it's raining. I mean, we can't do a lot of outdoor stuff or don't really want to. It's supposed it's to gross. rain all day. That's what the lady downstairs said. Yeah. But she wasn't sure. Yeah. She was going to actually do it. So we'll see. We'll see where the day 
takes us. Um, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Next step, coffee. Yeah. Yeah, so what do you think of the beret? I, don't know. I think Love it's it? a winner. Hate it? Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you like it. And if you don't, just keep your damn mouth shut. Because <laughs> I bought it and I think it's cute. And Jean thought it was cute and that's what matters. And just came back up to the room. It's about 9.05 and Kathy's going to come pick us up in about an hour and take us to the winery. So she has plans for us. So I might be a little scared. It'll be fun though. I'm excited. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> with our friend Kathy. I'm not sure if she wants to be in the vlog or not. I'll ask her before I put her on camera. Um, and she's given us a nice little driving tour. Um, which she's actually planned out this whole day. And the first day, the first place where she took us is to this Irish tea room. Because hello, she knows me so well. So back through here is a little shop, which I'll be spending some time in there. But for now, she's got a nice little reserved table. We're gonna have some tea and some gingerbread. So. <laughs> Not white, but like satellite doing a little tasting. Okay, as we head to, um, is it Peller Estates Winery? Okay, I didn't make that up, right? Yeah, yeah here we are, heading in. We've already had one uh, wine tasting and bought a couple of bottles and then did a little bit more shopping. Get my little Scottish loft. Got some Chisholm goodies. Represent the clan. Woo! Um, and now we're going to head in and, uh, duh, have more wine. To the wine hall. Wine hour with the Finsteads. So, our friend Kathy. Hi, Kathy. You're so cool. Um, it's currently 3.30. She picks up at 10 o'clock. She picks up at 10 o'clock. And we did a little tour of well, Niagara. She was like, I'll Niagara. pick you up. We'll go to the winery where she's a member. Cool. That's what we thought. And she was like, no, no, no. I have plans for you. Got a surprise, actually. Good times. So she takes us to Niagara-on-the-Lake, 
cutest little town. Um, of course, it's like disgusting rain and gray and chilly outside, but didn't even matter. She takes us to this little Irish tea room and shop where, of course, we had tea and fresh made gingerbread where she'd called ahead and make sure they were, were baking that day and she reserved a, a table. And a fig and almond. So good. So, then we hit the wine. Um, we went to the, it was, what would you say, like, not a satellite sales, but it was like a wine shop, but they only do the three, like, related wineries that are in, the area. That are in that area, yeah. including the one that she belongs to. So we knew we were going to Peller Estates, um, but we did a tasting there, and then we went on to Peller, where we kind of walked around the little boutique gift shop. We, um, did we do a little bit of a tasting downstairs, and then... I was like, oh, is anybody... She's been a member there for She's like been a member for a while. 14 years. She was like, something. uh, is Juan upstairs? And the guy doing our tasting was like, no, but I can take you up. Okay. So we go upstairs to this, like, locked reserve room awesome. with... I mean, and it was just us, just our little it's group of four people. And we just had a private upstairs. tasting with all their reserve. It was just great until 1.30. I could have stayed there forever. Mm -hmm. um, until 1.30 when we had a tour starting, which was also pretty cool. They take us down in the barrel room. Uh, we learn a little bit of the history of the vineyard and, and the, the business side of yeah. things. And, and more tastings. More tastings. You know, how to like properly taste certain ones, taste them with chocolate, things like that. Um, when in the ice room, which is 10 below Celsius, probably, because we're in Canada. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Um, yeah. It and it was degrees. really cold. I mean, you have to put on... It was 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, you have to put on... Um, you don't have to, but... Parkas and gloves, and they have them all there, and you go in. And tried ice wine, which we had tried at the first little shop where we got these, and it was not really great. I mean, it, it is okay. like... It's just so sweet. It was okay with me if I closed off my sinuses. Yeah, it's just tried. so sweet. But then we had it in this arctic room and it was pretty good hopefully the stuff that we bought it so we ended up buying a bottle of course i actually um, tried that one outside which yeah and then we we actually came back and tried this one out in another tasting but um but it was really good once it was cold so we're gonna give that a try and you also tried the, the um the, the peller estates uh bacon that noir. we had up in the reserve room the bacon noir bacon noir which we asked if it was related to bacon and, and it's actually it's, it was kind of like a salty meaty smell yeah, but it doesn't but taste it, taste it. So it was really the good exact opposite so, um, win-win. Now, the best part about wine up here is that the majority of it is at least, I would say, 20% at least lower in price already for their regular priced stuff. Yeah, plus our exchange rate plus is exchange phenomenal rate. here. So, we were but paying like $15 for a bottle of wine, tops. Well, we would normally pay like 24 at home. Easy, yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. So next up, we are going to get something to eat because we had Starbucks sandwiches at like eight o'clock, and that's it. Oh no, we had that little tiny like square of chocolate yeah. during the tasting. So I'm ready to shove some poutine in my face because apparently that's what you do here. So till then.